Today is the first Sunday of Advent. The readings will come from Romans 13, 11 to 14, and Luke 21, 25 to 33. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Romans. And that, knowing the season, that it is now the hour for us to rise from sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we believed. The night is past, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and impurities, not in contention and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh in its concupiscences. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Gloria tibi Domine. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations by reason of the confusion of the roaring of the sea and of the waves, men withering away for fear and expectation of what shall come upon the whole world. For the powers of heaven shall be moved. And then they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with great power and majesty. But when these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is at hand. And he spoke to them a similitude, See the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth their fruit, you know that summer is nigh. So you also, when you shall see these things come to pass, know that the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. I say to you, this generation shall not pass away till all things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away. Last Tibia Christe.